Hey everyone, welcome to Jira for Beginners training. This training is for absolute beginners who are starting their Jira journey or you are already working in the projects and want to know how to use Jira effectively within your projects. So I'll be covering Jira from very basic from the end user's perspective. And when I say end user perspective, it is basically you are the Jira user and you are not managing or administering Jira, right? So mostly in a project, there'll be just few project administrators or just one project administrator but rest of all if you are using Jira in your project you are the Jira user. So I'll be covering Jira from very basic and will explain the best or the best practices of Jira and how you are going to use or leverage Jira for your projects. In this training as part of each of the video as well I'll cover the interview questions in the end of each video which will help you to prepare for any Jira interviews or Jira interview questions questions as well. So let's get started and the first thing to understand for Jira is if you are absolutely beginner what exactly is Jira right. So Jira software what exactly it is all about. So when we talk about Jira, Jira is a project management tool and uh, it it helps any sort of project. It's just not the software development but it can support agile practices uh, for software development but all other project management activities in different domains of your organization. So that's why Jira is a holistic project management tool and I'll cover that in a bit with the example of how you can sign up for the free account, right? Now thinking of Jira from the absolute basic, you can think of Jira as a to-do list for the entire team, right? That's the very basic thing to start with and how you can build your understanding around Jira. So thinking of Jira, you can say, okay, you have a to-do list within Jira and then that list can be applicable for yourself as a team member and the entire team or at the organization level. Now that level depends on who is managing or who is managing how many people across the organization or across the team. For you as an end user, you can think of it as a to-do list wherein you will be allocated certain tasks or work items that you can basically go ahead and see on the Jira board and move those work items as you progress. If for example, today you are working on work item one or developing a module one, you can go ahead and move that work item to in progress on the board and that will be visible to everyone in the team that you are actually going ahead or basically working on that particular work item and then you can also update the progress on in the comments of that particular work item. So thinking it as a to-do list will make your life much easier in understanding the overall connection and how things are aligned within Jira and how you are going to use it effectively, right? Jira helps teams to plan, track and deliver work, right? Now because it's a to-do list, so to-do list can be a big list of items at the organization level which breaks down further to the team level. Now teams can then go ahead from the say for, ex for example organization has the vision to release a mobile application for their banking. Okay. So that's the organization level to do list. They can have you know initiatives and those initiatives are then broken down into features then features are allocated to different teams for example Android team, iOS team and then within those as well there will be multiple teams that will be building it. So Jira will help at any level at the organization level level to basically track to plan first thing then track and then deliver the overall work and Jira is not only for software development it is for all types of team for example marketing and I'll show you in a bit with some of the templates that are available within Jira as well and the next point fifth is that it helps teams to be more transparent efficient and collaborative why because everyone has the visibility of the team board right or team work items who is assigned a particular work item what you are working on that particular day. So everyone has that visibility. So that's why transparency is there. It's more efficient. You can put straight away comment uh, in, in the work item and then tag someone if you want to ask question and they'll be notified about that question and they can answer straight away in that particular issue that you are working, right? Or the work item that you are working. And then Jira also helps teams to be more efficient at jobs. So as a end user, as a user of Jira, you will be more efficient because you will be able to prioritize your work. So for example, you have five different items allocated, then you can prioritize. I'll work on this first, then this second, and then collaborate. Collaborating is very easy. You can tag people 
people they will be notified you can ask comments in that particular work item itself and the people will get notified and they can answer straight away within jira so you don't have to go ahead back and forth with the emails and teams calls etc that is straight away possible the collaboration is straight away possible within jira itself and two main roles for from for this training perspective i'll go ahead and cover the jira from broader perspective wherein you need to understand from two main role perspective wherein the user who is just using the jira which this training will focus and then the admin or administrator who will be administering jira now jira administration is absolutely different path altogether it is more of how the jira can be configured to make it specific to the team's need but from the user's perspective this training will focus like as an end user of the team how you are going to use jira most efficiently okay so these are some of the key pointers that i thought i'll mention in the slide so you can go ahead and refer to these these will help you in the interview preparation and questions now say for example let's go to the atlassian website now jira is the product from atlassian and if you're already using you might already be across all of these things but i'll cover from basic if somebody is absolutely fresher or doesn't know anything about jira now this is the project management tool which will you'll need to plan track worker work across team and you'll see that it's not only for software development but it is for you can use it for marketing it services design operations and many more templates will be available how you are going to go ahead and sign up you simply click on get it free right and it will ask you to sign up and jira is free for up to 10 users right so it's free for up to 10 users and you don't need any credit card to sign in you can use your google microsoft apple or slack accounts to go ahead and sign up or your any email that you can go ahead and use to basically sign up for your free jira account once you sign up you will land up on after the sign up process the process is absolutely simple it will guide you through to sign up process and then ask you to create the project if you don't if you skip all of those steps it will bring you to the dashboard right so for example it, you will get a jira site something like this once you sign up and then in the projects you can go ahead and create a new project once you go ahead and create a new project you will see the project that you have created so if i go ahead and click on view all projects in the project section you will see the projects that you will create you will get those projects in here so after sign up make sure that you basically go ahead and create a new project or even if you don't i'll cover that in the upcoming videos but the sign up process is something which is absolutely simple and easy so say for example let's let me go ahead and quickly show you so say for example i go ahead and sign up i provided an email there and set sign up so it will send you a verification code go ahead and put in the verification code let me see if i straight away get that so i put in the verification code in there then you enter uh, the full name there all right so then i'll just put in the full name create the password and continue right so it's a self-explanatory process because i have already used this email i won't go ahead and further sign it up but in case you face any issues in signing up which i'm very sure that you won't be because it's just a simple sign up process for the jira account then you will basically land up it will also ask you to create your first project if you want to straight away go ahead and create your first project during the sign up process go ahead and do it that project will then get listed here whichever project you will go ahead and create during the sign up process if you don't if you skip all those steps then we can go ahead and come here and click on create project and then specify the name of the project and then choose any of the project templates right which i'll cover in the upcoming videos so that's all basically about the basic very basic introduction of jira how you are going to go ahead and sign up for the free jira account and then also some of the basic interview questions so if we talk about some of the interview questions so you might be asked about what exactly is jira now with all these pointers that are mentioned in this particular slide you will be able to go ahead and answer what exactly is jira it's a project management tool you can you can consider it, it as a to-do list a software which has a to-do list for the entire team and you can plan track and deliver the work items within jira and it's for different teams it's not just for the software development team but it's a software that will help to collaborate and plan and deliver work for multiple teams across your organization right so that's one of the answer that you can derive 
API from these pointers itself. Then what are some of the responsibilities of users and admins in Jira? That's the second thing. So as an end user of Jira, your responsibilities are more how you are going to use it, right? So your, your responsibility is to uh, plan, track, and deliver work but as an administrator of jira the jira administrators work is more to customize jira as per the team's need in case it is required make sure the jira instances are ready to use for each project's need requirement for example the project a needs particular workflow then jira administrator will go ahead and configure that particular workflow and allocate or assign to that particular project right so working on the schemes working on the background uh, configuration of jira for the specific teams that is what jira administrators will do jira administrators don't directly go ahead and work within the project they are uh, the people who administer the overall jira instance and make it or configure it customize it for the project's need or the, the enterprise need and align the Jira as per the enterprise policies and the configurations, right? So that's the basic difference between how the Jira user or the administrator will use Jira. So that's all for this introductory videos. I'll see you in the next lecture. Thank you.